This impressive gravel pass offers unparalleled mountain scenery, technical driving, a top-notch guest farm, a big clean river, hiking trails, mountain biking, horse riding, canoeing and summit views that will take your breath away. In dry weather, this pass is quite doable in a normal car. However, when it's been raining or snowing, you will need a 4x4 to complete the ascent. This video has been produced from south to north. The correct name for this pass is the Grootrevier Hoogte Pass, although many people refer to it simply as the Grootrevier Pass. It forms part of an exceptionally beautiful gravel drive through the southern Cedarburg connecting farms like Dwarsrevier, Krombrevier, Meikiesrevier, Niverus and Mount Cedar with the Kouwebokkeveld to the south. The pass starts at its southern end at the single width low level concrete bridge over the Grootrevier adjacent to the farm Mount Cedar. This is also the point where the Blinkberg Pass ends forming one long continuous pass of almost 20 kilometers. The ascent begins quite gently as the road bisects many acres of mature olive trees. The production of olives and their related products is Mount Cedar Farm's main agricultural activity. The large olive production factory can be seen to the east of the road when traveling in the opposite direction. At the end of the last olive grove, a gravel road leads off to the left, which terminates at a parking area approximately one kilometer later next to two of Mount Cedar's outlying cottages. Leave your car there and follow a small footpath some distance up the ravine to see the Bushman paintings in a cave. Please note that if you're not a resident at Mount Cedar, a permit must first be obtained from the office. The road is fairly straight for the first two kilometers, then dips through a small stream and starts swinging towards the mountain on the right. It then curls through two tight S-bends and the gradient increases to one in six. This is also the point where non-four-wheel drive vehicles start having problems in rainy weather. The many transverse water diversions also inadvertently act as speed bumps, making it difficult to maintain a steady speed. Vehicles that have the most traction problems in wet weather are small front-wheel drive cars. The final kilometer up to the summit is brutally steep and the gradient goes all the way to 1 in 5. The summit finally appears amidst a cluster of road signage as well as a cattle grid. The summit altitude is 996 meters and snow does sometimes fall here during winter. This is the southern view looking back towards Mount Cedar and the Blinkberg Pass. The Cedarberg wilderness seems almost endless, covering approximately 175,000 hectares of prime mountain wilderness. The descent is less dramatic with a gradient of 1 in 13 and it's approximately 5 kilometers long, making the total length of the pass 10.7 kilometers. The pass descends almost 400 meters in altitude to terminate at the Brandkral River. Along this section of the descent, the road has gentle curves as it follows the natural valley between the mountains. Soon you will pass a small building on the left. This is the Vogelfontein water bottling plant and it makes an incongruous appearance in an otherwise pristine valley. The gradient eases off for the final two and a half kilometers where the pass ends at a fork in the road. The right-hand option goes to the Niverus farm, whilst the left-hand road makes a slight alteration to the left, then crosses the Brankral River, 